It's interesting what people tell you if you ask them, isn't it? There's something in us that wants to be all that we can be, that somehow knows that there must be more to life than this, that has a vision for what human beings can and should be, and knows that we've not yet got there. Churches and congregations are meant to be God's pilot communities, showing how fallen and sinful people like us can begin to be transformed into the likeness of Christ, the perfect humanity that God always intended when he created us. Of course, that's quite a journey, and we mustn't pretend that we've got there already. But when people share in the life of the church, they sense where that community is going, what its inspiration is, and where its centre lies. Churches are meant to be places where people can begin to understand and feel and experience what a community might look like that really lived in Jesus' kingdom, where they can belong to such a community as long as they're willing to be on the journey. When Christians in Hinckley decided they needed a viable alternative to traditional church, they decided to try something completely different. Now, a school and a local pub are the places where people come to worship and to learn. The sort of people who uh, come to the bridge and are attracted by what we do and the way that we do the bridge are folks who perhaps don't have any contact with church at all. Uh, there's a growing number, a percentage of the population which fit into that kind of category. The Bridges worship time uh, does take place uh, on a Sunday uh, between the hours, I suppose, really of five and seven. People often come and they are surprised by how, I suppose, really almost traditional it can be. We do make use of uh, worship songs, we make use of uh, what we call performance or presentation songs. Uh, it will involve the children right at the very beginning, which often can be pretty wacky and pretty lively. Uh, they then leave for their own activities and we go into a time where actually as, as adults we begin to uh, look at a particular issue uh, and focus on what the Bible might be saying about something. That, if you like, in a way is only the tip of the iceberg. Actually what goes on underneath the remaining 90% of the iceberg is really important. We're the Bishop family and we come to the bridge because we enjoy the community that the bridge provides. We come here because we love God very much. The bridge started off by doing some research and some door-to-door -door work right at the very at the very beginning uh, to actually find out what people thought, what they expected, and so I mean that's one of the very, the reasons why we actually meet on a Sunday in a school at five o'clock uh, because actually uh, people in the local community thought that that would be a better time um, to meet. We have been blessed uh, beyond our wildest dreams by the Hinckley Methodist Circuit and its commitment to the bridge, uh, not only in terms of finances but also in terms of staffing. And that's an amazing commitment which they've made. We've been involved in running uh, an alpha course at the uh, local pub and I've always dreamed of uh, standing uh, at the start of an Alpha course uh, with a pint in my hand and saying, Welcome to you. It's good to see you here. I hope that over the next few weeks we will begin to explore some of the things that uh, we believe about Christianity uh, and what it has to say about the world and uh, the world that we live in. So for me, it was perfectly natural. It's not possible for everybody to get to know what they need to know in probably 40 minutes, 50 minutes. On a Sunday, I think that's just unrealistic uh, and an unhelpful model of what church is. I think it's far more realistic to actually begin to uh, form a small group and to begin to thrash out some of the ideas, um, some of the teachings which Christ uh, gave to us. The danger is, is that we live with a model of church which means actually that it runs parallel with society and the way society uh, runs. Whereas actually I would rather encourage people to be involved in society and to be part of society and to live out their Christian faith in society. Me and my wife had a few issues a couple of years ago when we moved down to do with relocation. And the community here at the bridge and Tim and our friends really helped us through that and it was great. People sometimes ask, where does your church meet? Actually when people now ask me that question I will think about the social worker who perhaps will be dealing with a very difficult child on a Wednesday afternoon. The person who is a gardener. There is no divide between what we claim to practice on a Sunday 
and what we live out during the rest of the week. For anyone who wanted to set up a like something like the bridge in their town, I would say just keep it simple and laid back and eat together, talk together, pray together. I would encourage people to dream because I think that God is a God of adventure and he loves to see people who are Christians, who are followers of him taking a risk and daring to do something different. Because actually I'm sure that in many ways actually he's got a smile on his face when he sees us. Okay, yeah, we've made mistakes, we've got dirty, muddy, disillusioned and fed up. But I know that I'd rather stand before God when the final day comes and say, I tried, than to have sat and been comfortable and to have never tried in the first place.